good morning welcome back to my channel i'm sorry that i didn't upload on sunday this week has been super super chaotic and i just didn't get a chance to film and post but i thought today i could maybe do like almost like a vlog style i have a lot of things that i have to do today but uh yeah i just wanted to kind of vlog a little bit show like a day in the life today i'm 32 weeks in one day and I have a doctor's appointment in a little bit and so I'm about to go over like the things that I want to ask because I'm starting to think about my birthing plan. I'm gonna ask like what things they specifically recommend I bring to their hospital and yeah I watched like a virtual tour video that they offered because right now they're not doing in-person tours because of all this COVID stuff so I watched the video and they just like brought up some stuff that I want to know a little bit more about the options for positioning at their specific hospital the tools that they have to help you like they have some like labor balls peanut balls so things like that so i just want to know a little bit more information about those things and start to really like plan out like, how i'm going to be doing my labor and i thought i could do like a little bump date bump update for you guys um you know just show you guys some things i'm gonna be doing today I'm in my pajamas, so don't judge me, but bump update. So like I said, I'm 32 weeks in one day, um, and that is my bump break. I have a doctor's appointment a little bit, so I'm about to make myself some breakfast or just a shower. Um, boyfriend's still asleep, I'm letting him get some rest. And yeah, and then I'm probably gonna make a little planning list, um, my like today to do list, things I have to do, and some questions I have for the doctor today. So stay tuned. <music> It's actually way later in the day um i had my doctor's appointment and a lot happened during that doctor's appointment usually it's very quick it's kind of just like a checkup it's the measuring my belly hearing the heartbeat and then they ask if i have any questions or any concerns today i actually really appreciated the doctor i had because i i get a different doctor every time i go and usually like i said it's very just like simple i'll say like oh i have this kind of pain or whatever or this symptom and you know it's just usually like yeah that's i mean that's pregnancy so yeah that's normal whatever but today like any concerns i had she really seemed to like be like okay yeah um for that you can do this like she actually gave me solutions anything she seemed a little concerned about she gave me an order for blood work to make sure just like to make sure it's okay that it's not something else like i get really bad headaches so she's setting up for me to have a neurologist like through their practice and she asked me if I had received the whooping cough vac vaccine yet and I said no because it's never been brought up to me apparently I was supposed to get it at 28 weeks so she had a nurse come in like right then and there and I got it done and yeah she just was like so nice and like actually made me feel heard because like the other doctors are super nice too and I've never had a problem with them I guess it's just everything just feels like oh yeah that's pregnancy that's pregnancy that's pregnancy all the time so it was nice to hear someone like well let's make sure that it is just pregnancy so that was my experience today i also joined a study while i was there there's like this new technique that they're trying out during labor to help reduce the risk of t um, tearing and like i checked all the paperwork i asked what the risks are we went over in full detail and I was willing to participate because there's like super, 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 super low risk. Like, and the only real risks are that you can still kind of tear. There's no risk involving the baby. There's no risk involving like my health. So that's why I was okay with it. Yeah, I'm super excited to try that out because tearing has been one of my biggest fears personally. So that was kind of my visit. And then, yeah, I kind of just had a lazy day besides that. 
I was super exhausted. I was going to clean and just kind of reorganize a lot of stuff in my apartment. Um, yes, I still have my, my Christmas stuff up. I don't know what I'm gonna take it down yet. Um, I might have to though, because I'm starting to get some gifts coming in because my baby shower is virtual, so people are sending the gifts in and I'm kind of running out of space. Oh yeah, ignore that. That We gotta fix that. That one, that one broke. That looks, I know that looks crazy, but we're gonna fix that. <laughs> but um, I gotta think, start taking that down so that I have more space so I could really start organizing how the place is gonna be when the baby's here because I only have eight more weeks. It's so crazy to me. He was just moving a lot. I'll probably insert another video, a little clip of him moving in this. I know I did a movement um, video last week, just kind of a compilation of him moving. But yeah, sorry. Um, I know that I said I was gonna do like kind of like a vlogging video today, but there really wasn't much going on. I kind of just had my appointment and then I just like relaxed. Oh, and also something I made for the baby is this blanket all handmade by me no tools needed literally just hands and some yarn um but yeah i love it it's so cozy so soft and yeah i made this for my little babies so i'm so excited obviously i know it's really thick so like infancy is not going to be sleeping with this blanket but um i made it for him like as he grows <laughs> and yeah it's just a handmade gift from his mama to him but also when i was at my appointment when it came to like questions about the different tools that the labor and delivery people use um the doctor said to just kind of call actual labor and delivery and ask them because they would know more about that stuff because the doctor for the ob is different than like the labor and delivery doctors yeah i gotta ask them instead so and i have so many more appointments that i have to make I have more blood work from my ob i have the blood work from my endocrinologist there's just so much doctor appointments doctor appointments but it's all worth it he moves so much though so i always know he's good like i'm glad that i can always just feel him moving like he has not slowed down he is a very active baby he loves to be kicking me loves it so much i will like i said um i'll show some some more footage Sorry that this is kind of all that I have for you guys today. Let me know if you guys would like me to vlog sometimes a little bit more often than just like the sit down videos. It'll be more interactive vlogging than this video if you would like to see some vlogs. Maybe more like some daily routine stuff and I'll probably vlog like me organizing the area for the baby and all that stuff if that's something you guys would like to see. Um, but yeah, I plan on making that kind of video soon and I was thinking of making a video where I have my boyfriend guess the prices of items that are on a registry and just like baby products in general. So I want to see how well he can assume the prices would be. So that should be coming up soon as well. And yeah, that's about it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I am so thankful for your support um, and for you watching this journey. And yeah, I'm just so excited. I have my baby shower coming up soon and we are less than eight weeks away at this point.
from the due date. So we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, thank you again. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow my social media. I'll have it linked down below. And yeah, that's about it. So see you next time with a new video. Bye.